is interesting. All right, what do we got here, Mr. Sean? Third Street Brew House's Hop Lift IPA, 6.2% in a 16 ounce tall boy can, Corey Wagner. Got ourselves a pint. What's that? This, my friend, is a pint. It comes in pints? Oh. I can get you one. Sure do. I uh, prefer my beer in larger quantities, so today worked out well for me. Yep, yep, yep. Cold Spring, Minnesota. Cold Spring, Minnesota. Sounds te tempid, tepid, timid. Look, you're talking. You're asking the wrong guy if you want to know, because I don't know no <laughs> words. <laughs> Just sounds like a place that's. You have to own every winter coat in production. Yep. Cold Spring. So I have a friend who's married to a woman that's from Minneapolis, Minnesota area. And when I went to Minneapolis, so many good breweries there. Really oh, yeah, slept right? on state for breweries. Yeah, probably because it's so cold, they just have nothing to do but drink. And what are we eating today? Today we got ourselves Mama Cozy's? Is yeah. that what it is? Yeah, she's got a whole kitchen of pizza. French bread pizza. This is the three meat one. We got sausage, pepperoni, bacon on here. I love these French breads. I do too. I used to eat them as a kid. I probably haven't had them in 15 years, so maybe, probably longer than that. I keep, keep forgetting I'm 32. <laughs> probably been like 20, 20 yeah. 22, 23 years. Yeah. Uh, so maybe I don't like them anymore. We'll have to see, but I remember enjoying these as a child often. Yeah, I think so too. Corey cut mine into little kid slices because yeah. I have a little boy. Yep. All right, so Mama Cozy's French bread pizza. Let us know. These are from Aldi. What's Aldi today? Yeah, all the, uh, interesting. interesting. Not the place to go. I, I would not be surprised if that's the last time we go there. Yeah, it's a very, uh, at least the one in Chicago, it's probably smaller than the Aldi in your hometown. Mm -hmm. The, the, uh, selection? Smaller than smaller, I would have thought. Yeah. Everything's in boxes. You know, it was our first time there as a duo, I think. I uh, grew up going to Aldi, and it was the one in Toledo that I used to go to with my grandma. Yeah. It was a type of spot where the grocery carts, you had to put a quarter in yep. to unlock it, mm -hmm. and then you didn't get the quarter back until you plugged it back in. Yeah. And then it was like, dink, you yeah. Which means that Theft. my grandma really needed those <laughs> that quarter. All right, French bread pizza, three meat from uh, Aldi's Mama Cozy's. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, so crispy. So good. You know what kind of is? This is kind of like a giant bagel bite. Well, I was gonna say it's kind of like Detroit style because like the thickness of the bread, Yeah. Like just the French bread by nature is kind of the thickness of right. the crust of Detroit style. I agree. This actually, that tasted really good. Mm -hmm. as, a, as I don't know if Mama Cozy's is a very Keep popular brand. Keep triceps off of my pizza. They're large, I get it. Triceps are the most effective muscle to casually flex. You don't even have to bend your arm. And boom, you just went from friend zone to end zone. Look at this on the big camera. It looks pretty good. And uh, we did use the cheat code move, which is the Mr. and Mrs. Air Fryer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hard to screw anything up in the air fryer. It was also only in there for like eight minutes and it came out so crispy. Still a nice gooey cheese. It doesn't dry everything out. Yep, I'm surprised. This is very good. Yeah. I like the pepperoni. The sauce isn't bad. Right. What makes this French? I'm not from there. I thought maybe you had some knowledge. Mm -mm. Funny thing is, is all the frozen pizzas we have, the, the crust is trash. Right. This crust is actually pretty good, I think. Yeah, thicker and um, crispier, which I think maybe that's what frozen pizzas need. Yep. Yeah, maybe we're onto something. When I grow up, I want to have a frozen food brand of a pizza kitchen. I just live in the pizza kitchen. And all I do all day is just box and, and send these out. And people will make videos about it on YouTube. Well, guess what, Mama Cozy? Your wish came true. And Sean and Corey got your back. Yep, everyone's got dreams and we're here to support them. They, you would normally otherwise have to put this in the oven for 25 minutes. No oh, wow. Eight minutes in that. Things a hundred dollars. Get one of those. Air fryers are king. You just have to have the largest shelf ever to store it. Because yeah. it's in an obtrusive amount of space. Yep. We keep ours tucked away in the in the corner of our counter. I don't know how I get away with it. It seems like something that homeless girl would be like, nah, you're an idiot. Get that get that out of here, stupid. Does she ever use it? Probably not. You know, you can't make hamburger helper in it. I was gonna say, <laughs> she only eats like two foods. <laughs> ham fried rice, hamburger helper, and then the third food would be taquitos. How did, and wine. And wine. How does she stay so thin? Uh, I don't know, that's a good question. <laughs> have been working out secretly at night. And look at me now. I'm actually really pleased with that. That's one of the better pizza styled items. I know it's different. It's not really, I guess, a frozen pizza. It's French bread pizza, but. Yeah, but I mean, That's one of those better. is a good meal. You don't need to be eating a whole frozen pizza. One French bread pizza is 450 calories. Yeah, dude. That's a fact. I'm a little concerned how one is 450 and two is 910. Yeah, that's weird math. <laughs> I don't think they're very good at math. Wow, that's, what is the second one a little bigger? I, I've, I felt stupid all during school. I just... You felt stupid? I just felt dumb. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> How is that possible? Is that if you're eating the plastic too? 
I, wow. Okay then. What's that all about? Well, I don't think, they don't, they apparently don't have mathematicians working for Mama Cozy. No, she's got a lot of other things going on. It's not a math kitchen. No, no, no. All right, um, podcast shout out, podcast shout out, podcast shout out. Dude, you know, I got the shirt on, the unemployable. Look it's our at other brand. That. So we got a comedy buddy we do a podcast with. All the OG Sixers know. They've already gone over. They subscribe to it on YouTube. They follow it. You know, they like it on the Apple <laughs> podcast app. Is that, what a hard way to say that. But anyway, we're across all mediums. Uh, we do comedy advice. And uh, you get to see a live look into our lives. Uh, show a clip. What, dude, did he say he messaged her, hey, how are you doing? Let's meet up before she even had the chance to respond. That's why she didn't fucking respond. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, can't go, how are you doing? Let's meet up. That can't be the first right. thing That's you a good say. Point. I didn't That's even think about that. Like That's why one. she's not responding, you psychopath. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, you Let just, it f plant a seed. Yeah, suck Stop it that you, open. You, you, you know what he tried to do? He tried to go, he tried to go buy a tree. All right, you didn't want to do the work. You wanted to buy a tree okay. and have the tree and just plant the tree. You gotta water you that. Gotta bro. Go buy a seed. Yeah. Get you some water, some maybe some fertilizer, some fertilizer right? Yep. Sprinkle that on there. Plant take the care seed. of it. Put it in the sun. Yep. And then watch that beautiful bad boy grow. Oh. And then you go. Will you meet up with me? Okay. And then you see what they That's right. respond That's to. That's right. Yeah. So yeah, it's a sick office that we film at. We got some such sick producers for it. And uh, we'd love for you guys to go check it out. If you haven't listened to one yet, venture over. It's Friday. You got some time. You're trying to kill time before the work's over. And the shirt isn't only for uh, performers only. We sell this on the Unemployables website. So if you want one of these shirts, go snag it. Yeah. They're one of my favorite shirts. I, there's I something wear, about the chest shirt. I wear Because it. I like that. This is one of my favorite shirts. Mm -hmm. And then sure, I'll have a drink is like my other, those are like my two favorite shirts out of the brands that we have. A couple badges. Yeah, something about it. I don't know. I just dig it. It's simple, yeah. yet effective. Yeah, absolutely. So link below is the new episode. And go over to the channel. Check it out. Theunemployablespod.com. Um, bunch of fun stuff over there. We're in like late 30s episodes now, which is crazy. And so. cruising through. Cruising, cruising, cruising. All right, if you strictly came here because you want a thumbs up or a thumbs down on whether or not you should go to Aldi and you should get this and eat it with your mouth full, that's for right now. So uh, Eric McCluskey, our drummer, drum roll please. Thank you, sir. Corey, thumbs up or thumbs down on whether or not you liked, you get again, you overall enjoyed the Mama Cozy's Pizza Kitchen, Pizza Kitchen French Bread Pizza 3 Meat. Oh! oh. I thought it was fantastic. I did too. Really good. Like I said, the sauce wasn't my favorite sauce in the world, but no. it way made up for it. Like I barely noticed that. I just feel like I had to kind of mention it. Right. But really, it was not a major factor in this at all. The bread was good, and the bacon sausage, and especially the pepperoni were all really, really good. The best bread I've had on a frozen item to date. Here's the Sean breakdown. I only eat things like this outside of the show when I'm intoxicated. <laughs> That's true. So if Me I too. had a little, also, I'm big into my freezer doesn't have a lot of room. This fits. It's compact. It fits in the freezer. Great size. Sean's drunk, not drunk enough. He doesn't leave the oven on. Use the air fryer. It goes off after a certain amount of time. Smart. Ovens normally don't do that. Yep. Normally, you put it in there. Two of these house them. I feel great the next day because I got the carbs and the salt in me that I needed to not have a headache. Yeah, you're ready to go for a run the next day. You carb loaded. Yeah, you're good to go. So that's how I would break it down. I think that's a huge thumbs up here today. Really happy. All these just kind of a one for one situation right now. Yeah, they're, they're crushing it. They're hitting them out of the park at this point. Yeah, we had a pizza kind of weeks ago. Um, you saw that episode where we had that sick beer and now this so good mama cozy getting cozy up with her you know cozy that maybe uh kind of like slide one hand over and kind of swoop in ah, you got no? a weird mom fetish <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys monday for a brand new episode of the show we're back at the counter eating breakfast foods and or chicken wings you don't know we kind of keep it going sure i'll have a pint of drink you said you were gonna have a pint drink the whole thing all right uh-oh <laughs> That's called peer pressure, and it's not healthy. I have to drive later. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't even have a car. I don't know.